Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl C. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got the knots in the bottom of my passion twist, my jumbo passion twist. They're not all even because clearly when I measured it, it was even, but when you wrap it, it stretches out. So that's why it's not even, but you know. Anyways, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do these. Stay tuned. So I'm just going to be wrapping these up. go like this and just wrap it like so I was gonna cut them but I figured it will be too short I'm just gonna wrap a rubber band around it twice and this is how it looks if I'm just gonna make sure that it is even with the other one Hold it right here and wrap it going down. My camera always about to die. Like when I want to be productive, always want to die on me. Anyways, you're just going to add a rubber band to the end. And this is the second one. I'm going to do that to all of them. Bands. My memory card literally only has eight minutes left on it, so I'm gonna hurry, try to hurry it up. This ring light makes me so hot. It's not even funny. I've literally only had my hair in for two days and guess what y'all, I'm about to take it out. So this is what one side looks like. These look so cute. They are like invisible locks when you do the little knot in the end. Um, if you guys don't know what invisible locks is, just go back to my page. I have a couple of videos on there. But yeah, I'm just going to do the other side off camera. So this is what it looks like when I do the other half. These are super cute. I don't care what nobody's saying. <laughs> They're cute. If you're not used to getting braids and jumbo braids and small braids, this is not the style for you because it's kind of heavy. But if you're used to it, you might find it not so heavy, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I love these. I'm about to take them out though because I need to put another style on. 